Hello dear friend of TEDx. I wish I would be with you today. Right now when you listen to my voice I will be flying from India over to Europe. TED conferences are indeed wonderful experiences and especially in Monaco. It's a place dear to my heart. I come every year to visit my friend and uh, bring some awareness of our humanitarian projects. So, small the next big thing. Of course, small uh, can mean many things. First, if you think of a change of ideas, uh, it seems small compared to building skyscraper, highways and so forth. But ideas can transform the world like a small seed that gives birth to a big tree. And one idea that is particularly dear to my heart is altruism having more consideration for others. There's only very few words. But if you think of the challenges of our times, how to reconcile the needs of the short term of the economy, the mid term of flourishing of quality of life, and the long term of the question of the environment, there's no other concern but altruism that can solve those issues. We need a caring economics. We need to promote gross national happiness for the flourishing in the midterm. And we need to take serious consideration of the fate of future generations. Otherwise, they will tell us, you knew and you did nothing. In another way, small is the next big thing because we cannot go on with this crazy consumption. By 2050, at the current rate of our using of the resource of the Earth, we will need three planets, which of course we don't have right now today. If every Chinese, Chinese citizen had as many cars per inhabitant than in the United States, you, they would need the whole petrol of the year. This is not possible. And also, it is known that people who have extreme consumerism mind, they are less happy, less healthy, they have less friend, they are less concerned by global issues. So what we need is a voluntary simplicity. A voluntary simplicity is not depriving ourselves of what is good in life. It's simply know how to experience life in a better way, more focus on intrinsic value, friendship, the quality of silence, of mindfulness, of awareness, and not just thinking that if I have this and that, I will be happier. Without that, I cannot. This is nonsense. Small is, be small is beautiful. Small is the next big thing. Because also, it is clear that what we need is not endless growth that is impossible, but a sustainable harmony to remedy to the inequalities through which 1.5 billion people are still under the line of poverty. A sustainable harmony where you don't have a country like North America that emits 200 times more CO2 than Zambia. A place like Qatar that emits 2,000 more CO2 than Afghanistan. So harmonize the way we use the world, the way we relate to each other. We are interdependent. So, as Martin Luther King said, we all came on, diff on different ships, but we are all now on the same boat. So, small is the next big thing, is the way to intelligently manage the resources of our planet, to remedy to inequalities, to have a more harmonious social life, to be, know how to be content and live well in harmony with each other. And that's perhaps a small idea, but with a huge impact. Thank you.